don't always see the night. They say they want a real one. They say they want a real one to make them feel young. Hey yo, what's good family? Welcome back to Astro Nori for another video. Today y'all already know what is going on. We're gonna be covering the lookbook for Supreme Spring Summer 2020. Honestly, I did get a little glimpse of what's going on in there, but I'm equally excited to make this video for you guys. If you do end up enjoying this video, man, slap a like on it down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new or would enjoy more of this type of content. Click those post notification bells so you're notified each and every time I post a new video. And honestly, bro, let's go ahead and get straight to it so you guys should already know how this works we are gonna go ahead and cover the supreme preview i typically don't even go through the actual lookbook because i'm not trying to see how they style it i'm trying to see what's coming out that's really what i'm here for so that's exactly what we're gonna do today so right here we're gonna click the preview click view all as soon as we get in here boom and let's go ahead and talk about some of these pieces i'm not gonna cover everything on here because this would take way too long and i'm already a little bit late on this drop list so i want to go ahead and get it out by today so i could drop my drop list tomorrow that's tough dumbass motherfucker. right here at the top we do have the fox fur jacket as you can see this piece isn't all that bad this is one that we saw on the leaks i'm gonna open it for you guys real quick it doesn't look that bad i think it's pretty cool and i feel like the price is gonna be way too steep on that one though we do got this gore-tex piece right here which i do feel like is so fire this is honestly one of my most favorite gore-tex jackets that's came out but since it is gore-tex i don't know exactly how well it will do I feel like this design definitely deserves resell on it though. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But right here we have a bunch more jackets. We have the one that was on the actual preview. We got some more jackets right here. This checkerboard jacket. We got like this velour looking ass corduroy jacket. Actually, this is the same trucker jacket that got the holes punched in it. We're gonna skip through all that. We got like this ABC's Vanson letter jacket, which is probably gonna be like $2,000. OD right there. We got this reversible shiny jacket right here they're tripping with that one we got this big letter track jacket which is actually kind of fire I remember seeing this on one of the leaked pictures that I did a video on definitely a fire piece in my opinion we got the classic logo we got that all over flag ass jacket that shit is banana dicks like we're good on that shit we got like this MLB jacket which is actually pretty fire pretty fire as you can see the LA and the New York Yankees Yankees are the bigger logos on here because they're the vibe but we got the supreme s on one side and then we got the supreme arc logo on the back that navy colorway fire we're gonna go ahead and keep talking about this track jacket right here which is one of my favorites so far bro this is definitely fire i love like that diamond cut that it has to it got that supreme on one of the sides right there this gucci colorway is definitely a vibe i also do like that little blue color that's another fire one in my opinion we got a whole bunch of jackets another vanson collaboration that could hold a tip we got this camo jacket which looks so fire kind of it has like that grid which honestly fucked it up for me it has like that grid which honestly fucked it up for me i feel like if it didn't have the grid on it it would definitely be a better jacket in my opinion but it isn't a bad one nonetheless i do kind of like it not gonna lie yo this is fire yo this city lights jacket is fire bro yo i might have to go for this this shit is crazy i am a big fan of this city lights jacket honestly the black colorway for me but this is such a fire jacket that i wouldn't mind having it in purple shit is fire i love this jacket right here bro i don't know what it is about it but it's actually really hard we got like this two-faced jacket this is okay this doesn't look that bad actually i feel like this is gonna be one of those jackets that has a really high resale i don't know why but something's telling me that the fleece on that is gonna make it pop so we're gonna go ahead and skip on that one we got the world famous supreme team jacket this is the coach's jacket doesn't have anything on the front that's kind of ass we got some suits now we're in the shirt section we got like this abc's that shit could hold a tip yo we got the city lights rayon shirt this shit is fire i'm trying to go for this the jacket they should have did a hoodie in this i don't even know if they have honestly i'm actually a huge fan of this design i don't know what it is about it but it's definitely calling my name we also have this supreme 
Shea Rayon shirt. This is not that bad. I'm pretty sure this is like a dictator or a drug lord or some shit like that. I might be wrong on this, but I do remember seeing this face on some shit that has to do with like Colombia or Cuba. We're gonna leave that right there though. We have a whole bunch of shirts that I do not wanna be a part of. I typically skip on all shirts, but we do have this like comic strip cartoon sweater. I'm actually kind of a fan of this. I do like the other colorway, which is like the black and white it gives me that newspaper print feel to it definitely a fire piece in my opinion we have a whole bunch of shit releasing i'm gonna go ahead and skip on a lot of this shit right here not a fan i do kind of like this crew neck that one's not that bad i kind of like it but hey i'm not gonna even jump the gun on that one this crew neck right here or long sleeve is actually kind of fire i like the simplicity on it and it does have a lot of different colors that make up the word supreme it says supreme inside the word supreme that's actually kind of cool i'm kind of digging it let's go ahead and exit from here we got a lot of shit bro there's just so much stuff coming out that you don't even get the full like what pang until you actually start seeing some of this shit release this supreme like business jersey that kind of gives me like the hennessy jersey vibes for some reason i don't know it's kind of ass regardless though but we do have this shirt right here which is the inverted logo it doesn't look that bad once again it's nothing over the top this shirt right here nah not this one this one's cool too this shirt right here is so fire the hourglass raglan shirt is definitely a vibe i'm looking forward to buying this piece right here this shirt right here kind of reminds me of playboy cardi i don't know why maybe it's the butterfly but it is pretty cool and i'm gonna be trying to go for that right there we got this arc applique jersey honestly what's mainly calling me with this shirt right here is the stripes i like the stripes on it it's like micro stripes which is pretty cool in my opinion we got this mesh hoodie right here it's like a jersey material let's go ahead and keep it stroking it's too much shit to go yo hold up what's this right here this is the supreme headline short sleeve top it's basically filled with el chapo on it then you got like the supreme logo right there at the bottom this is fire this shit is hard i feel like resell on this piece is gonna be through the roof there's a whole lot of like headlines from newspapers on it this shit is fire bro i'm not gonna lie to you guys i actually really am a fan of that piece right there yo there's so much shit coming out that i honestly don't even know what's going on i think this piece is fire too this is like the supreme spell out that says nothing else like it in the world it says supreme in the middle i feel like this is not that bad of a piece i actually really do like that mint green color I don't know what I would wear that with, but it is a fire color nonetheless. Let's go ahead and get into some of these sweaters and hoodies now. What is this right here? This is the Miles Davis. Oh, no, nah, I'm good on that shit. That's okay. We could leave that one right there. This is like a zip up hoodie. This is the color block zip up hoodie. Depending on the colors, hey, that gray one right there is kind of fire. So is the all black. Then you got like that Mavericks colorway. I'm kind of good on that one. There's so much shit right here that I don't even know what to look at. We got that all over money sign hoodie. That that's the bling hoodie right here. I think that one's pretty cool. It just reminds me of 06, 07. A lot going on on that one. We got the Naomi crew neck. This is actually not that bad and it does have to do with Mark Gonzalez. If you do know, that is a really popular skater and he normally does the Gons stuff for Supreme. This is a fire piece nonetheless. Let's go ahead and close some of this shit out. We do got the S logo coming out. Let's go. Yo, we got motion logos coming out. That's fire. Yo, Yo, that is so fire what the hell so what it looks like is that we're not getting like an official box logo but we got a motion logo hoodie yo this shit is so hard yo that's fire there's like a cream on red that's so clean yo even this crew neck right here the underlying crew neck is kind of fire too that pink colorway is gonna be hitting yo we got motion logos this year the s logo you already know we can never go wrong with the s logo they got like a leather s on the and honestly bro i might go ahead and try to go for another s logo i am feeling that violet colorway or that pink i wouldn't go wrong with either one of those we got this over dyed hoodie right here which is another fire one yo that dark camo is hard i feel like these hoodies are actually not a letdown these are fire bro we got the motion logo i just need to contain myself because dumb shits are 
so fire. We got this Reckless Youth hoodie. Oh, so on the front of this one, it says Supreme, like a regular text. Then on the back, you got like this, I don't know what that says, like the youth, pretty much. The youth are getting reckless in different languages. That's fire in my opinion. Yo, there's so much heat. And then there's so much cheeks at the same time. We got this cutouts crew neck. This is kind of like a box logo. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is type fire. And I feel like this is low key, low key a box logo i'm not gonna lie it's kind i don't know how to explain it bro but it is fire i am feeling this piece there is six different colorways and out of the six i would definitely say that black on black that gray or that cream are my favorites the only one throwing me off is the green we about to get into speed round right now we got some pants right here rapid fire with the pants real quick we got these gore-tex pants which are the same as the gore-tex jacket that's gonna come out we already spoke about the jacket so we don't need to talk about the pants we got the track jacket that was gonna come out with the gucci colorway with the pants right here as well the pants are fire i do like the gucci one or that like baby blue color we got the cargo camo pants which always come out definitely am a fan of the camo colorway we got a whole bunch of pants honestly i do wish that they would have done like you see how they had the el chapo on a actual yo these pants are fire like these void pants or checks embroidered pants are so clean i typically don't even go for their jeans and i would go for those jeans right there we got the s logo pants pants as you can see we got like this barbed wire spell out pants now we're gonna talk about some shorts real quick we got the bling shorts we got like these nail shorts we got the camel shorts we got a leotard what the f is going on with the leotard i'm good on all sides when it comes to that we got some cargo shorts a whole bunch of shorts there's some of them that actually are pretty fire like the water shorts right here these racing sport looking ass ones now we're going to talk about some of the tees let's go ahead and open these real quick so we got the tupac hologram tee when i heard that there was going to be a tupac collaboration i got so excited and this shit is kind of ass bro like the branding could have been way better like i just ah they could have done so much better bro like it's kind of tragic kind of a let down but we do got the bling tee right here this is pretty much a whole bunch of ice on the shirt and money that's okay you can never go wrong with that yo this paint logo shirt is actually kind of fire the paint logo one is kind of fire this tie-dye loved by the children jesus christ on a cross tee isn't bad i don't know if i would personally wear that but it is kind of cool i do like the tie-dye on it more than anything we do got this naomi tee which says supreme on it not that bad once again yo this is fire this long sleeve right here and like this neon yellow colorway is definitely fire definitely fire i am feeling this one right here we got the cherry tea which i feel like is another one of those that should have came out years ago definitely a fire piece right there we got this black cat tea which is another one that's like a comic type inspired tea i am a fan of this one it's nothing major but definitely a cool tea to see we got the supreme masterpiece shirt which is basically like a tiger or a lion eating eating something right there i don't even know what type of animal that is but it's pretty cool taking out all the suckers we got this classic logo shirt which is probably one of my favorite ones it's just real simple and to the point and then last up we got this laugh now tee i feel like out of all the tees i definitely like the laugh now tee i like the classic logo that one could take a seat that one could take a seat the cherry one is i i don't know if i'm gonna go for that one this long sleeve is hard as fuck paint logo tee is fire and the tupac one is okay simply because it's Tupac but besides that dumb shits is ass they're not the best tees that we've seen thus far we're gonna talk about some of these hats because there's definitely a lot of hats like a lot a lot of hats I'm gonna talk about the S logo can't go wrong with an S logo there's just so many to go through that I honestly can't do it right now some of these be yo this beanie is fire oh my gosh we got motion logo beanies that's nuts motion logo beanies yo I'm amped then we're gonna talk about accessories after i cover these hats we got a s logo dad hat coming out fire that shit is ass the military cam caps you can never go wrong with these right here this is kind of cool i like some of these colorways especially the camel the olive that burgundy or hard this beanie is fire this splatter dyed beanie fire motion logo beanies bro what the Oh, that's hard, bro. Then we always have the over-dyed beanies that come out. Can't go wrong with these either. Now we got the waist bag right here. This waist bag is actually not that bad. 
not. I'm more of a fan of the waist bag than I am of the shoulder bag. I feel like the shoulder bag is kind of like a like a stripper suit type of vibe. And then the waist bag is more so like an actual you could wear this out type bag. I kind of like both of them. Definitely, I would choose the waist bag over the shoulder bag this season. Even the book bags are cool, but this messenger bag right here is a vibe. If you like carrying your little laptop or whatever in a messenger, it might fit in here. I don't know exactly the size of this. I would like to see it worn on somebody so I could tell the sizing. We're going to go ahead and talk about some of these accessories now. I know I forgot the book bag, but hey, my fault. There's just so much shit coming out that I forgot. I'm going to open it for you real quick. The book bag is right here. It's definitely cool. I do like the fact that it has the Supreme spell out going down the side right there. Let's talk about some of these accessories. For this season, the main accessories are going to be the BMX bike and this Mac Tools Tech Series workstation right here we got the workstation it actually has plugs on it i feel like this is actually gonna be around two to three thousand dollars this is big as fuck from what it looks like and it's not that bad bro you got that supreme blasted on it i feel like this is what they've been working their way up to because they drop the screwdrivers they drop all these big ass tools this is only what makes sense Next up, we do have this BMX bike, which is so fire. I just hope that is not seven, eight hundred, a thousand, two thousand dollars. If this is two hundred fifty, I'm in there. We got the Supreme Oreo, which has been leaked for ever so long. I'm excited about that. Normally, I don't even speak about the Supreme necklaces that come out, but this one right here is pretty fire. Pretty fire. It's like an iced out Supreme nameplate. Fire shit. I actually am a fan of that one. Yo, the record player. What the? This this is fire bro you got a turntable record player with a built-in speaker fire bro you got the disturbia binoculars right here yo supreme does not disappoint with the accessories they never disappoint and this supreme like instax film set is making me want to buy a polaroid like this is so fire bro like we got a bb simon these have came back in style as of recently like last year this bb simon belt right here is fire though i'm not gonna get it for the personal but it's not a bad belt this lawn chair is hard i just hope that retail isn't like 200 dollars. but that shit is so fire you got this blanket I'm good on that. The basketball is actually not that bad. You got George Washington on it. I would definitely go for that black and white colorway, but it's not that bad. I just hope it's not that expensive, bro. They be taxing like $60 for this is not that bad. A hundred can hold the tip. We're actually gonna be seeing the Ziploc bags. What size are these? Oh, these are small as hell. It's like the pack of sandwich type of bag. I thought it was gonna be the big ones, but these are pretty cool nonetheless. These Speedo goggles could take a seat. I'm good on these shits right here if you love speeding through water this is for you but i'm not out here swimming at a professional level it's cool bro we're gonna see people walk around with literally chest protectors on a day-to-day -day basis which is nuts to me but we got this bike helmet right here which is i we got this leatherman rebar like multi-tool this shit is so clean bro it's like a ruler it got a nail filer it got scissors a screwdriver a saw a knife another knife and then a third knife a bottle opener fucking pliers a bunch of shit in one this is definitely fire these mechanic gloves can hold a tip in my opinion we got this ceramic bowl which is actually pretty clean i don't see myself using this besides eating cereal on it this ashtray is clean bro this shit is fire i love the ashtray definitely in the red color we got the supreme incense holder this isn't that bad as well i definitely am a fan of the black colorway more than the white one a woven straw mat 76 by 27 that shit is big bro you could do yoga in style that's fire we got this transparent lock right here which comes with a key and a case this lock is gonna be like a hundred dollars i already see it this umbrella is even fire yo supreme be having you buy the most the most different shit bro a transparent lock and then an umbrella the umbrella is actually fire though yo this water bottle is hard too they never came out with a water bottle that comes in a sack i am a fan of that we got this glow in the dark zippo not bad at all once again yo there's so much shit coming out this bird call i don't know what that is these mugs are hard bro we got the we wanted to be known towel in three different colorways we got the bling towel which i'm honestly more a fan of we got the hanes tees the hanes wife beater they coming out with a wife beater this season bruh <laughs> that 
That's crazy. We got the boxers, which is normal shit. The red socks. The poncho, bro. I honestly thought this was going to be a free gift. I don't know what that is. Oh, we got a lighter holder. That's not that bad. A waterproof lighter holder. That's actually pretty clean. This skeleton keychain isn't bad. Now we got the skate decks. We got the Tupac hologram that we saw on the T. This isn't bad. We got this like bling one and then we got the cherry one. I'm definitely a fan of the cherry one more than the bling. Motion logo skate decks. That's fire. This distorted logo skateboard is so clean. I'm sorry I haven't looked at the camera. I'm over here looking at this. This chrome logo skate deck is fire. You got a skate tool, trucks, whatever. Yo, I think that's pretty much it. Like, oh, there's one thing I'm missing. I just saw the shit. The Air Force Ones are actually a thing. They're gonna be coming out with the forces. Yo, the laces say Supreme on it. I don't know how I feel about that, honestly. The laces are kind of cool, but I don't know if I would wear it with those laces. I think I'm gonna go black Air Force activity with these. I kind of do like the black ones more than anything. As you guys just saw, that was the lookbook for 2020. I feel like this season isn't all that bad, but I was expecting a little bit more. We don't have a box logo this season. We have like a kind of fake box logo crew neck, which actually doesn't look that bad but definitely not the best season thus far i am excited to see some of the collaborations that are going to come out this season slap a like on this video if you did enjoy subscribe down below if you are interested in any supreme content for this upcoming season because i do plan on dropping a lot of videos based around it click those post notification bells so you never miss a video and without any further ado i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one peace stay up and i'm out Mama see the sun, always see the night. They say they want a real one, they say they want a